coach. Here it is game day. Beat the hell out of TUSA. There's <laughs> Maddie, Dad, Jenny. Turbo. We are ready to go. So, why don't you come see the sights with us? About 10 a.m. Headed to our seats. All right, coming up on uh, the Reveille Memorial. So what they do is, is they bury all of the Revelies. We Aggies take our school and its traditions very, very seriously. And Reveille is one of those traditions we are all very passionate about. At most universities, they are just mascots. But at Texas A&M, it's more than that. Reveille is the highest ranking official in the Corps of Cadets, and she's also a five-star general. And the student body put together enough money and decided that she was gonna be instated as a general. And ever since then, Reveille has been the highest ranking member in the court. The tradition of Reveille started in 1931 when an unfortunate accident turned into a positive tradition. Back in 1931, a group of guys were coming back from Navasota. They had spent the weekend there and on their way back in their Model T Ford, they uh, hit a, a young black and white mutt. Once that happened, uh, they, they realized that they needed to nurse it and bring it back to health. So they brought it back to the core, they nursed it back to health, and the next morning, when Reveille was being played to get the rest of the cadets up, she came out and started barking. She, and she loved Reveille, and so that's how she got her name. Right here, outside of the stadium, and on game days, they get their own bouquet, and they always have a scoreboard so they can see the score of the game and cheer on their beloved Aggies. All right, let's continue on. Uh, okay, we've made it up the elevator. We are now headed to our section. Yeah, we're definitely getting the 125 cups. Yes, sir. Howdy. Wonderful. Nowhere else I'd rather be today. <laughs> All right, guys. Looking down over campus. There we are. Okay, guys. Here we go. Howdy. This game against UTSA takes the Aggies into that final month of the season. And our historic moment takes you back to the November to remember of the 1985 season. A&M knocked off three ranked opponents at Kyle Field in their stretch run to the Southwest Conference title and the Cotton Bowl. Since 
1876, the year the Texas A&M was founded. It has produced the same type of men, men who are courageous, determined. It's one of the loudest stadiums in the nation. It has been this way for years in Aggieland, and it all started back in 1922 when an Aggie team with limited reserves was facing Centra College, the number one team in the nation. It got started back in 1922 when an Aggie E. King Gill was called from the stands to suit up as a substitute because we were down to only 11 players after halftime. And his willingness to come out of the field and suit up when his team needed him is, is why we all stand at the football games now in reference to that. The 12th man is now a tradition that involves all the students and their tradition. What makes this tradition so unique is the students are standing the entire game, symbolizing the 12th man and that he is always ready to enter the game. As yell leaders, we, we keep the crowd hyped and keep them pumped up. And
Quats Twist Centennial March. Yes, sir. 
there. All right, run off. There you go. Bonfire collapse back in 1999. So this year, later in this month, is the 20th anniversary of that collapse. Um, for those that may not know the tradition, every year Aggies uh, the students would build a bonfire that uh, has to be set on fire for the burning desire to beat their arch rival Texas University. And it was always played, and most of the time played um, on Thanksgiving Day. The, um, since then, that is no that bonfire is no longer built. The la largest one was over 109 feet, uh, so it's quite a quite a sight to see. So this memorial uh, has a central point, and if they have doorways, and if you look in those doorways, through the doorways from that center of the circle, it points to the hometown where that student was growing up. Okay, Chris, this is for you. It is now lunch. I took your advice and I'm over in Tumbo Beach. And look where I am. I'm getting ready to have my water burger. It's been many decades since I've had one. I can't wait. Anyways, thought you might like this. Bye. Alright, just went to Terminal B. Uh, go and eat a water burger. It's been a long time since then. I'm getting ready to take the tram back over to Terminal E, which is where my flight leaves from, back to Newark. The doors are closing. This train is departing. A train is arriving. Please keep clear for passengers exiting the train. El tren está por llegar. Por favor, permita espacio para los pasajeros que salen del tren.